Hey guys, um, I'm coming to you with a little bit of a different type of post today. Uh, so I think that something um, that doesn't get talked about that much in the bariatric community uh, outside of the groups that I'm in is the adjustment that we all go through with uh, the super fast weight loss. Um, so in the last year, I've lost 160 pounds and I went from someone who was the largest person in the room um, at family gatherings, um, even just going to Walmart, Target. Um, it was not unusual for me to look around and know um, in the back of my head that I was the biggest person there. And even as a kid, um, I was always big. So I was always the biggest one in my friend group. I always viewed myself as big and it really became part of my self image. So to lose that part of me has been something that has been a joyous thing for me, something I've celebrated. Um, but I think the thing that people don't talk about a lot is that it's also really scary and it can feel really uncomfortable to adjust to being in this different body, to being this different person. Um, and I think, you know, something that happened this week, which was really weird because obviously I see my face in the mirror every day when I get ready, is that I suddenly noticed that um, I have a jawline. Like, my jaw is shaped differently than it used to be. Um, and for some reason that just really hit me as this like profound thing. I have a jawline. I really don't remember in my life ever looking at my face and being able to see that shape. Um, I've always been round and you know, I looked in the mirror and I traced this new jawline that's now mine with my finger. And I feel like my brain just lit up with all these thoughts. Um, you know, my body's gone through so many changes, um, since my surgery and I could not stop thinking to myself, this is the face that I would have had the face that I should have had if I hadn't been overweight all these years. This is the person that I was supposed to be. This is really me now. Um, there's no more mask. There's no more fat hiding who I'm supposed to be. And that's weird. It's weird that I can look in the mirror sometimes and just be shocked at who I see. That sometimes I look in the mirror and I hardly recognize myself. Um, you know, I look down at my own arms, the arms attached to my body, the hands attached to my body, my fingers, my legs, even my feet. And I feel like I'm looking at a stranger. Um, it's a really weird feeling. And I know I'm not alone in this feeling. Um, you can't lose 160 pounds in the span of a year and not have a little bit of whiplash. <laughs> And I definitely feel that. Um, I'm sure some of you do too. I feel like what I'm doing right now psychologically is that I'm like trying to pull my mind into the reality that I'm living in. And, um, you know, as much as I'm so happy to have lost the weight, it feels hard. I really, I don't know how to explain it, but it feels hard to have lived with a certain self image for my whole life and then suddenly be in a different place. And the adjustment is strange. Um, sometimes it just makes me feel like I'm reeling for some sort of grip on who I really am. And obviously like there's not that much that's changed about me besides my weight. But for some reason, it still feels different. It just does. Um, you know, the weight's melted off over the last year. And that's been wonderful. And I feel so much stronger in so many ways. You know, uh, my body is stronger. I can move better. It's given me so much. Um, and when I look at who I am now, and I have that feeling of this is the person I should have been if I didn't have 
PCOS and hormonal issues and bad habits. It's a scary thing to like have this sudden realization that for many years I really wasn't who I was supposed to be. And it's not just the physical, it's the fact that being so overweight and always being the big girl, it holds you back mentally and psychologically too. I mean, I felt embarrassed. I felt ashamed. I felt different. Um, and now I look around and I'm not sticking out for being fat anymore. I'm not different anymore. What does that mean for me? Um, I don't know. And some days I just feel like a disaster mentally trying to adjust to this. And some days I feel so happy and grateful and like things are wonderful. Um, so yeah, this is uh, me just sharing a little bit of vulnerability with you guys. And I would love to hear if you relate. I'd love to hear, you know, if anyone's found this to be the case as well. I'd love to hear where you all are in your journey and what's helped you. Um, I do see a counselor and that helps. Um, I think counseling is a beautiful thing. And yeah, I'm a work in progress. And I know we all are. Um, I hope today finds you all healthy and happy and making progress on your goals. Bye.